and guess what? That's, that's how. When he first started disobeying the Howard Schultz. Man, that's a that's a whole lot of witnesses, bro. Let's go back now, because we all over the place. Yo, can we hit a, you know what I mean? Bro, all these other groups. What verse you just read? Revelation 13 and 15, on down to 18. Yep, you know about the 5G network they about to put in place? Nope. You gotta look no, up on that. You know they been doing that. Yeah, yeah. That's beautiful, man. They need, they need, a, they need yeah. a new 5G network right, in place. I got a question for y'all. All right. Now, somebody had tagged me in a video showing that the Monster Energy Crank, they had the... 666. Six, six, with the uh, three vibes. Yeah. Right. Now... I understand that the Bob even sits because the Hebrew alphabet is a 10th song, basically. I'll left to the end. Right. And all that. All right. So the thing is, is that when it said uh, uh, six and six and three scores, even though that's not necessarily how you would add up six, six, in, uh, six, six, six in Hebrew, right. um, technically in Hebrew, that would be 18. Right, but you know how to do that. I understand they shit. doing the, yeah. they try to play off the Hebrew, you know what I mean? Just like, that, look, there goes one right there, the Huntington Bank. That's a 666, and that's, that's two walls, and then the six-sided uh, hexagon. You see that? That's more dope, you know, for symbolism. You see them two walls in there, plus the six sides? That's crazy. So that, that, that's just that witchcraft. They can actually get... that also, if you can put the Star of David in that, too, though. Well, I mean... Star of David, don't have to do with really... Hey, show me some ancient artifacts where the Israelites actually use that, though. Ancient, uh, ancient Israel symbol was the menorah, though. You know what I mean? You look at that coins, uh, most of the coins, they have what? They have seven candlesticks. Actually, the, um, the what where, you where call it. Come it from, um, from Amalek, man. Yeah. The, uh, the, best the Nazarite seal. What's that? The Nazarite seal. Nazarite what? The Nazarite seal. That's what the artifact that has and actually, when you go in, into it, you know, originally we, we lost all of something. Okay. Because, uh, and it was that Numbers 2 it said each tribe of Israel is supposed to have their own symbol. And, what's going and on their own that banner. That's good. That's good. That one. That looks like it's, like, it's an ancient vote? artifact that has the we don't menorah, vote. Okay. and then it has like a little fish thing. It's called the Nazarite. Oh, the, Messian the, the Messianic symbol. They the going off things in that fish. Huh? They gone. They gone. Wait, they said that. I can't remember. I know about I know about that deity. What I'm saying is there's an ancient artifact that's similar. But, but I'll give you this too though. Because that's just hexagons, triangles, all this is just geometry. Basic geom geometrical shapes that occur in nature. But whoever takes that symbol and puts their energy on it, it, it becomes evil because it's being used for evil. You know what I mean? Because I, I mean a bee's uh, got honeycomb got hexagons in it. Shapes carry a voice right there. It all carry a vibration. I mean, voices carry a vibration. Because you got, you got, you got, you got, you got, you got, you got devil worshippers that evil nature is going to have it. Oh. But that, that's depends on the individual and how they use it. That's what I'm saying. Alright, for example, like the war, like the slave thing. For example, for example, like when we came out of Egypt, right? Alright, we were defending physical bondage, right? Now, who, then we have to fight the Amorites coming out of Egypt. The root word of Amorites is Amar, which means speak of utter percent. So one of their main weapons is using words. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? What, like, look, like how you, uh, people use propaganda, yellow journalism, yeah. words. You know what I'm saying? Attacking person. Like, before they attack the enemy, they didn't just attack them at their strongest strength. You beat a person down with propaganda and all that different stuff. Look, that's attacking person in words. You know what I'm saying? Even too, I watched the video where uh, some Caucasian people had invaded uh, a black tribe that never seen Caucasian people. You know what they use? They use the 
lighter. I mean, a match. It's you know, he starts fire from scratch, but that is going to look like a mirror. Right. Then they use rice and uh, salt to hit a mirror. Because that's the mirror helps break up the tribal vibration. Like, if I go pick you, Something in your head right now, you might have to go back on contact. Race the tribal block. Uh, the tribal uh, connection. We're still trying to get on this. All right, yeah. Oh, yeah, back to Peraza. Oh, but look, if Peraza came up right now, I know he's like a nice guy, right? He gave me a home one day. I was at the bus stop. He picked me up. But like I said, if we get after the scriptures, though, we're going to have to go into this because he teaches that the mark of the beast is sin when the Lord came to forgive us of our sins. But the Bible says if you take the mark, there's no forgiveness for that. What's that word mark in Greek? You said mark, I don't understand it. You gotta know the look. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, you gotta have a work. I know, the, I know how to write this. See, I, I, I feel you though. <laughs> Greek, <laughs> Greek is heathen language, you know, right? This is a reality though, right? Okay. Or do you even believe it? You think it's just madness? I'm not saying it's madness. What are you saying? What, you saying? what, you saying? what, you saying? what is the mark of the beast? I, I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm missing this girl right See, that's why we out here. See what I'm saying? We know this is the chip, because the mark, the word for mark in the Greek, what's the word for mark in Hebrew? You know that was Ezekiel 9? But the Greek word is a karagma, which means to actually stick something in you. It's different from like Ezekiel 9 when it says, they'll put a mark on the head. That, that's different. This is talking about, uh, comes from the word karagma, but it's actually where the word cave comes from. It means to actually physically stick something inside of you. You know what I mean? Like the brand, like the brand of cattle. So they actually gonna take a mark and physically stick it inside of you, either in your right hand or your forehead. Do you know Google got uh, brain chips? They, they, they put a chip in your brain, you get on the internet with your brain. You can Google shit with your brain. You know what I mean? The military already got super soldiers with, uh, with genet genetically engineered super soldiers, but they got microchips in their brain that connects to their weapons. So when they point, pulling a uh, rifle up or whatever, it's pretty much like some Terminator shit. They see little numbers popping up. Boy, you want Trump to affect uh, biometrics and shit. Oh, right. they, they're working on it now. They what was that program affected. Obama started? The fact is that 5G. The brain, the brain, uh, what if somebody, but what yeah, if, oh, oh, the brain initiative or something? Oh, oh. What, what if you used to get tranquilized and they just put it in you and then give you some pills? Hold up, hold up, hold up, The Lord got you. Then give you some pills to make you feel and you don't even know well, that's society. too bad. The Lord I mean, gave you up to the, the Lord struck uh, certain people with plagues and diseases because they weren't they were being wicked. So you know what I mean? Right, but right. the Lord gonna get you, he's gonna get you. Right. If he's gonna save you, he's gonna but, save okay, you. Okay, we come in the spirit of prophecy. Do you so come in the spirit of prophecy, man? Uh, and that's what we're doing. We're prophesying. This is part of prophecy. That's prophecy. What does the word prophecy mean? To say before. You know what I mean? Because that's like one of the last main prophecies that, that ain't come to pass is the mark of the beast. That's the major one. We know where they're with. Yeah. Almost all the prophecies don't came to pass. Israel done been scattered amongst the four corners of the earth. That done been happening. You know what I mean? Verse 22 and 17. I come quickly. Blessed is he that keepeth the same for the prophecy of this book. Said point to the sky. And I saw, and I, I, John saw these things and heard them. And when I heard that, heard the scene, I fell down to worship before the feet of the angel that saw, that showed me these things. I saw a vision. Then said he unto me, See thou do it not, for I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren the prophets, and of them which keep the saying of the book of all, book, worship the Most High. And he said unto me, Seal not the saying of the prophecies of this book. Let's take it all the time. All right. And look, back to that 5G network too. That's what we to the prophecy. Because for that microchip to work properly, they need a, a, a reliable wireless system. And it's that four, where they got 4G now, 3G, 4G. It's, it's not reliable, but this new system they gonna come out is super reliable. So that's when the microchip's gonna be able to interface with that. And so they're gonna be able to track you no matter where you are. You could be up in the middle of the desert and they still gonna be able to see you. They you know say I mean? that 5G is so efficient it's gonna cause cancer. Yeah, it causes cancer. Yeah. Alex Jones been going for you. I know you probably think of Alex Jones sometimes. What do you think these motherfucking men, the military men, are getting exposed to? Oh, they got yeah, all messed up. Yeah, they messed up. Yeah. All the powerful radar systems and the submarines constantly pinging. Yeah, the cell towers they got now that uh, people they get sick to live on. So, yeah, yeah. You know, messing their heads up. That 5G yeah. so powerful, it's pretty much microwaving your brain. Yeah. Right. How many are in the army of you? What you mean? Uh, the whole. It's the whole. 
we're supposed to know how shit's in the business. Yeah, the church is doing it. They're supposed to know any of the trials. Whoever did know them, they got punished. Wait a minute, I think they did. They got punished. That's right. Cast a lot, so he rolled him dice with him. But hold on, listen. We, we, we're not worried about that. We're worried about this. Yeah. <laughs> Josh, Joshua cast a lot to see which uh, land each tribe would live in. No, he fulfilled it according to Moses. But let me I'm read something, though. You're just trying to go too deep. But you didn't prophesy by God. Yeah, that was that was something so a Kemet guy was talking about. Let me read this real last question. Okay. Revelation 19 and 2. For true and righteous are his judgments. Yep. For he hath judged the great whore, which did corrupt the earth with her fornication and have avenged her blood. That's not the Lord. That's not what he saw, though. Oh, here we go. Because the Lord going to judge he saw, not save him. And I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, let me read this. Because we're going to put him away. See thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant, thy brethren, that have testimony of Yahweh Shah. Worship the Most High. For the testimony of Yahweh Shah is the spirit of prophecy. Oh, that's a good one. It's the spirit of prophecy. All right, can you read Jeremiah chapter 9, 20 to 26? Let me read it. Let me, I got you. Yeah. Hebrews 5 and 12. For when the time ye ought to be teachers, ye have need of one to teach you again. You gotta humble yourself, man. You gotta humble yourself. Everything you thought you knew that was working for you before, you gotta cast all that out and move forward. You know what I'm saying? We're here to help you, bro. That's how you learn. That's how the, 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 the well, you don't want the most high to make you do You don't want him to make you do it. You know what Let I'm saying? Let me continue, though. Listen, to, this is really important, man. We have need of one to teach you again, and we ain't trying to really judge you or get on you. We, like we said, we're here to help you. We're being brothers. Actually, this is a form of judgment. Yeah, this is, you're right. You know, because you can't continue to hold on to the falsehoods and walk yeah. away like they see working for you. Well, whatever. We're going into the dip scriptures coming up with Crazy stuff. So, right, right. Up, right. Let me continue with this, though. Okay, so this is, you know, I'm just saying, if somebody was to come up here and be like, I, Judah, y'all are too different than Esau, yeah. and that's what you and oracles of the Most High, and are become such as have need of milk and of not strong meat. For everyone that uses milk is unskillful in the world in righteousness, for he is a babe. But strong meat belongeth to them that are of full age, even those who by reason of use have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil. So you're trying to get too deep. 
So we can't, you gotta stay with the milk. There's a simplicity that's in your house side, bro. The simplicity is that Matthew 15 and 24. I am not come, but the Lord said he only came for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's that simplicity. When I get this message, it's that simplicity. Look, this is milk. This is milk, bro. This is milk. Read that. It says, I just read. Take up on my love. The Lord hates Esau. That's the milk. It don't say nothing. To continue on that. What did he tell you to do? He told me. You read with how he feels. No, 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 no. I said I'm being listening to First Chronicles. Let's say First Chronicles. Look, the first prophet said to that king, "Don't say." He said, "Why you should love somebody that the Lord hates?" This is Shabbat three and twenty-one. Seek not out. Listen. Seek not out the things that are too hard for you. Neither search the things that are about thy strength. It's basic simple, man. Now, come on. You come out with the sun rising on this side of Judah at light speed. I'll be lost in the city. The thing is, that, that's 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 I don't even understand what you're saying. Hold up. All right. So, my people suffer from lack of knowledge, right? True. All right. Thank you. So, my whole point is this. If I'm telling you some knowledge, you don't want to see that. But that's not scripture. Talk about that in scripture. Like speed. Like speed. Hold up, hold up. And we ain't trying to make fun of you. No. We're just, hold we're hold trying hold to hold make hold a hold point. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Somebody else can say the same thing about what you're doing, right? They can say, this hey, right, it's pricey. It's pricey. Okay, but you see it though, right? You see it. You see it though, right? We see what we're saying. Hold up, hold up. You got Judah right here. Hold up, hold up. Tell me, I'm going to ask you a question. Hold up, hold up. Listen, I'm going to ask you a question. How many is on the east side of Judah? All right, like, but you know? just asked me the same question. You no, said, hey, what do I remember? How, 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 right? how is this edifying? How is that going to edify me? How is okay, that how does that save Esau? First of all, how does that save us? How are you going to understand the Mashiach if you don't understand to him? Hey, like I said, there's a simplicity <laughs> that's in your house. This sun, like, uh, there's a simplicity that's in your house. Hey, don't, don't be just, as uh, said, don't be dismayed at the signs of heaven. You saw the sun, speed of light. Speed don't, of light. No, it don't matter, dude. So you're telling me Hebrew don't matter. So you're going to say, It does no, matter. I'm you got to look at two other languages. Huh? You got to look at two other languages. So, all right. Guys, so, language, land, and culture. Right? Hey, break don't this down. Your culture, that, your culture, if don't I'm talking mean. about Judah, and your culture has 186, 400 but armies you're on you're the side of the army. This made at the sun, like the sun, like the sun. No, you're not listening. And right now, there's probably over a, there's over a billion. You're not listening. This is Obadiah 118. Listen, break, 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 no, break this down. Break, break this down. Break this down. I want you. First of all, hold up. You didn't, matter of fact, you, hold up. Y'all went to a lot of places. Go back to Isaiah 49, verse 5 through 6. Because you hold said on. the house of Israel is the only thing he came for, right? Listen, listen. So Isaiah 49, verse 5 through 6. All right, because we're getting in. Listen. Obadiah 118. The house of Jacob shall be a fire. Okay, the house of Joseph is going to be a fire. And the house of Esau from stubble, and continue. And they shall kindle and kindle and devour them, and they shall be there. There shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau for the house of Esau. No, they said there's going to be none. Verse is that? He said, what verse is that? No, 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 I got to be clear. They said there will be none remaining in the house of Esau. All, right. All Edomites will be exterminated. Well, okay, okay, and now, also, who hate over God? Who's your Savior? Is your house shot? Okay, so now he says in the New Testament that the wool is over your eyes still at the reading of the Old Testament. Okay, right? what, what does this mean? Explain this. Well, I'm just, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. They said there will be none remaining in the house of Esau, bro. What, can they be saved, what does that mean? The wisdom so of Solomon. Listen, we can go to Deuteronomy. One and one, wisdom of Solomon, one and one. Love righteousness, ye that be judges of the earth. Think of the Lord with a good heart, and in simplicity of heart, seek him. Say we, 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 say we stay on the milk. Simplicity. We keep it simple. Because the simple, the most simplest thing are the most powerful thing. All right, so let's go simple. You said he only came for the house of Israel. Yes. The milk. That's All a right. fact. Throw Isaiah the milk. 49, verse 5 to 6. Say it again. I said 49 verse 5 to 6. Bring it out. Bring it out. You got a Bible on your phone, too. What about you? You never answered that. What does Obadiah 18 say? You got a phone, don't you? You got a Bible on your phone. I'm working on trying to go into it. Isaiah. Isaiah. Isaiah 49 verse 5 to 6. And he said, it is a light. Thing that thou shouldest be as my servant to raise the tribes of Jacob and to restore the preserve of Israel. And I will also give thee for a light to the Gentiles that thou may be my salvation. Also a light to the, the earth. Also a light to the Gentiles. 
And also, don't say is right. first of all, Isaiah 2 says, hey, get 1 Corinthians 12. Hey, Gentiles is some, that's a stony So you tell me the Ethiopian that got baptized in the book of Acts? He ain't he's an Israelite. Israelite. No, he no, no, he got baptized, he's, he's, he's an got, Israelite. He got, he got shown the book Who? of Isaiah. Which one? Which one? The Ethiopian in the book of Acts. He's an Israelite. Okay, right, right. Read, right. read, read uh, listen, bro. Yeah. Yeah. You know what's it mean to be scattered? What's it mean when Israelite was scattered? Bro, how long you been doing that's this? That's what it means. They were scattered amongst the other nations, man. How long you been doing so this? What's up? How long you been doing this? Hey, so every, everybody's Israelite. Yeah, that's you. But he couldn't write to this. Everybody's Israel. What was the promise? No, the everybody's not an Israelite. But I'm saying when everything is good that y'all read about in the Bible, you always put it to Israelite. No, no, no. we know no, the scripture. Not, it not, says wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ethiopian clear as day, and you're going to say that's an Israelite. What? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Get, get it. Just get it. In the book of Acts. Yeah, I'm going to read this. Hold on, let me read this. Hold on, let me read this. Hold on, let me read this. Hold on, let Let's talk about that. Uh, listen, hey, we got, we got spirit. Listen, listen, read it slowly. Slowly and clearly. Brethren, I will not have you ignorant. We don't want you to be ignorant. That's why we out here, even though it's driving us crazy, but we still got to teach you. Go. You know that you were Gentiles. You know that you were Gentiles. Carried what is away. it? What is it? Carried away. Okay. What Gentiles carried away to the Dutch? Read Deuteronomy. Oh, okay. Read, what does Deuteronomy 30 say? 30? I don't know. It's back in my head. It says, it tells you. That, that, that Israel was going to be scattered among all nations for their sins. Okay. And that, there's many scriptures that say that. Real quick. Oh, yeah. Hosea okay. 1 and uh, 8. Now, now, when she had, uh, I'll slide it. We start at uh, 9. It said, This said God called his name, Lo I mean, for you are not my people. Say, so says Israel that is not Israel. So the Lord says Israel is being wicked. He's like, Oh, y'all want to be heathens? Okay. I'm going to make y'all heathens. I'm going to scatter you among the heathens. I'm going to make you look like a heathen, bro. That's, that's why I look I like an Edomite. And, I, and, I, uh, and, I, and you will not be my people. I will not be your God. Who's talking to you? Yeah. Why, why did the Lord say, if any man don't listen to you, let him be known as a heathen and a public yep. And he told to Islam, wasn't he? Yep. Why talking is about, that? Matthew 18. Right there. Two or three more witnesses and something yeah. your brother yeah. And he said, what? Let him be known as a heathen. So the Lord is saying, we're Gentiles. We were Gentiles. We were Gentiles on me. Uh, That's why the Lord said he came for the what? The lost sheep. Key word, lost sheep in the house of Israel. Okay. This is key. The number of the children of Israel shall be as the same. The number of the children of Israel shall be as the same as the sea. Which cannot be numbered. Can't be numbered. Can you count all the, uh, the grains of sand on the sea? You can't the count the ones you pick up in your hand. You're right. <laughs> so there's more Israelites on earth than any other people. We don't scat. We don't have sex with more women than all the other nations. Okay. You're telling me with somebody that's Caucasian, uh, like even you, like somebody, another Israelite would look at you and I be got like, the, I got the curse of leprosy. They, they, they no, I know out. that. No, I know that. But I'm saying another Israelite would look at him and be like, "Why are y'all standing?" Well, well you know, it, it happens all the time. Right. Right. Happens all the time. Right. Yeah. Right. That's, that's right. part of the trials and tribulations. That's part of the Lord trying to send a fire. Hey, guess what? You know, you know, they call the Lord a heathen, right? They call, they call the Lord yeah. a Samaritan. Yeah, they call him a Samaritan. Yeah, yeah, they call him a Hamite. Yeah, yeah. But that's beside the point. They so, call, yeah, they call, they call him a Hamite. Hey, is a servant yeah. greater than his master? <laughs> but look, all right, yeah, for example, all right, Jeremiah, who helped you get out of the, out of the hole? He was in jail. And then he was locked up. What was he going to do? He told the king. But he, what nationality was he? Probably, he probably just from the land or whatever he was. He was in Ethiopia. Like, uh, like, like Joe, right? Joe, Judah's Leonard wife was what? Was Judah's wife? It don't matter what the wife is. Mobile or wife don't matter. What's your mobile? Most of Israel's wives were after. Yeah. It don't matter. It, it only matters about the father, so, the father seed. It doesn't matter about the. Jake loved woman. white women, so. Jake loved to hit every. Jake see, Jake wanted to hit everything. But now we got a list. Like I done hit the Hindu. Yeah. I done got the Ethiopian. Yeah. Like what I got left? I got, I got a Korean bitch yet. I gotta get one of them. Yeah. That's just the way we think, you know? Because Israel just loves sex. Yeah, uh, Moses told him to go take the uh, heathen's wives and take them to Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. And then keep them to themselves. Yeah. Yeah. And there's a law with that. If you kill a mom or dad or whatever, man, you gotta shave their head. It's a whole yeah. process. Do that too. Yeah. And after so much time or 30 days or something like that, then you can go in on them. <laughs> yeah, what you got? <laughs> 30 and 30. <laughs> then, that, then the Lord. Thy power will turn thy captivity and have compassion upon thee, and will turn and gather thee from all nations, whither the Lord thy power have scattered thee. Because the Lord has scattered, the Lord has scattered us among all nations. Ooh, it's it's a curse. <laughs> oh yeah, I got a quick one right here. I still ain't went to book of Acts yet. Bro, we can get all the books. Is it? Okay. I'm let me, oh, let me get this real quick. Amos nine and nine. 
For lo, I will command and I will sift the house of Israel among